<laughs> That's a real, I, I haven't heard any discussion of that, but when does asking consent become itself a form of harassment? You know, you could totally use it that way if that's your intent. It's just like every politically correct word for whatever group can ultimately become a slur. When I was a kid, retarded was the politically correct term for, I'm not even sure what the term is now, mentally disabled, um, mentally different, um, neurodiverse, I don't know, like there's some term. And then like that, if in the right, if you have the wrong spirit, you know, you can use that as a slur easily, you know? Like, did you just do that on purpose or are you, are, are you neurodiverse? People are looking for a way to be right. So like these words go in and out of, of fashion, you know, like holding space, that was like a really good thing. And now space is a bad thing because we're supposed to be about place and space is this abstracted, uh, delocalized, um, thing, you know, that's that's cut off from its relationships. So we don't talk about spaces anymore. We talk about rooms or places. But I mean, these these giving attention to the um, unexamined baggage that words carry, that's a good thing. But to think that if you change the word, you solve the problem, that is delusional. And sometimes we don't have words for things that we want to have words for, like you know, non-binary genders. You know, that's really quite annoying. In Chinese, it's no problem because um, he, she, and it are all pronounced the exact same way. And there's a different, the characters are different. Um, there's one for objects, there's one for animals. Um, there's one for gods even. Uh, but they're all pronounced the same way, so it's, not really so much of a problem. Everybody's ta.